What's up guys and welcome back to another hardcore episode. We're back just right where we left off at the mob farm as you can see and I I FK'd for quite a bit of time between the last episode and we got quite a bit of resources. Now unfortunately I've already tried to do this recording once and for some reason my microphone wasn't connected which of course I only realized after I had recorded several clips so I actually already harvested all the gunpowder and the rotten flesh from these chests but as you can see even up to this chest was full of stuff which is crazy we really had we had about two shulker boxes worth of gunpowder and a lot a lot of rotten flesh wow this is still loud how can this still be so loud all right there we go we'll, we'll give it a little a little bit of sound how about that anyways um so what we're going to be focusing on today is kind of a similar project it's going to be another farm um and we're going to be working on an iron farm and my idea is i would like to have the iron farm be at least somewhat close to the hostile mob farm just so that we are able to actually you know have both of the farms working at the same time i'm thinking like probably right here we're going to build it I've got most of the materials collected already back at the home base. However, we've got two crucial ingredients that we actually really don't have anything yet. Whoa, that's a big ruined portal. I don't think I've ever seen one so big. That is neat. Anyways, uh, our base of operations should be just over here. There we are. Yep. So, the two ingredients that we need is a zombie and three villagers now the zombie we already do have one captured if you guys remember from quite a bit of time ago actually this was initially for the uh, villager trading uh, to get cheap trades but uh, we can always get a zombie for these guys it's gonna be a lot easier uh, we're just gonna use this guy and we're gonna transport him over there and to do so I'm thinking we're gonna be using nether portals um, we could use a boat to get him all the way over there but that is just it's gonna be so slow and just take a lot of time mine carts are basically out of the question we don't have enough iron or gold um, and it's gonna take way too long as well so I think what the idea is we're gonna make a nether portal and use a boat in the nether and we're gonna transport them over there but first we actually need to start building this thing so we got the materials basically that we need here I'm pretty sure there isn't really anything else that we need Got some extra redstone. I'll put the redstone away. Uh, dump some of this random stuff. We'll keep you. That actually really needs to be repaired. Wow. Anyways, guys. Um. Whoops. Excuse me, there, boss. Uh. So here I have one villager captured, and um. But I'm thinking. You guys know we have another village over there. And I actually managed to capture three villagers. Unfortunately, not all in the same house. But we can work with it. We've got one in here. One in there, I believe. And one in that house. They are really quite spread out, actually. I'm just going to make it a little more challenging. But um, I think it's still going to be possible. But first, what we're going to do is, of course... We're going to start building this thing. So, let's get started, shall we? As you can see, 
we are pretty much done. Just got a few more steps left to do. Now, actually, this is going to be a bit tricky because we're going to have to place the lava here, then jump out. Whew! We still got hit a bit, but we're fine. We're fine, guys. Don't worry. Whoops. Why did I break that bread? That bed. All right, guys. So we've got basically everything down. Um, there's about two more things. Sorry, three more things that we're going to need to do. Um, and yes, they are going to be some of the more annoying things. Let's just put away some of the stuff we're not going to need right now. Boom, boom, boom. Extra sign. Crafting table. One thing that we are going to need to do before we get to any of the really unfun things. Uh, can I? Yep. Is we're just going to put the water up here. That's just going to take two seconds. All right, guys. So now that we've got all of this done, basically all we need to do is get the villagers in there. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy, let's just say. And you know what I'm thinking I might do? Um, it might be easier to just, just for now, get rid of the water. And I'm thinking, so we're going to put a nether portal up here. So uh, let's, let's just get to that, shall we? Let's see, do I have obsidian in here? Or is my obsidian more in here? Okay, so we have a few blocks. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's actually enough for what we need to do. Which is slightly annoying. Let's see, though. Um, we're going to use the cobbled version, I think. Don't want to... Just so I can, like, make sure I know which blocks are what I'm actually using and which I'm not. This might be really annoying, actually. Let's see if this works. Flint and steel. Yes, sir. Um, and we are actually going to want to put some blocks on the other side, of course. Just like that, boom. Uh, all we gotta do is get the villagers up here, and then we're just gonna drop them into here. Not, not, not you. Uh, you. Let me collect you. Put you away. And now we will see. Do I have my boat on me? Yes, I do. Let me put away you and you and you for now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the portal. Hopefully it isn't some, anything too dangerous. We'll get some food out just in case. Remember, this is still hardcore. All right, let's go through, shall we? Okay, so one good thing is it means we're not going to have to make an extra portal. One bad thing, I don't remember the coordinates of our... Uh, of our regular portal. Now, we could just dig and hope that we come out into an open area. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. So, what we're going to probably have to do, it's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to have to go back into the overworld, go back to the main. What the hell? I'm going to have to go back to the main base, and then I'm going to have to get the coordinates of the nether portal in the nether, and then we'll come and connect it up. Just gonna take the cords of this one first. Just useful, you know. Alright. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll meet you guys right back here. Alright, we now have the coordinates uh to the other portal. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a quick tunnel. 8927. So we gotta go a bit of positive X and a bit of negative X. So let's just go do that real quick. Uh we're just gonna go positive X a bit. Let me grab my shovel. Alright, guys. It seems like we've found the nether portal, as well as an annoying skeleton. Alright, so, we have to climb, climb quite a bit, actually, so what I'm thinking we're actually going to have to end up doing is, what the hell, we're going to have to make some sort of a minecart path, I think. There's really just no way around it with, like... Oh, man, it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be cheap, but it's really our currently our only option, I think, 
So I'm going to set that up. It's going to take a bit of time. It's not going to be fun. And I will see you guys back here. As you can see, we do now have a fully made minecart path. It's a good thing I actually had a decent amount of gold for... I have no clue why I had a lot of gold, but it's a it's a good thing that I did, isn't it? Um, however, we still have the issue that this portal is connected up to the one in the main village. And, well, if you aren't aware... That is not the same place as where the villagers are being kept. So, here's really my idea. We're just going to sleep real quick, and then I'm going to explain to you guys what I think we can do. Um, it's going to be really a lot of work. Uh, we do have one captured villager here, so that's nice. But, my other idea is that we just take... We go from here, basically, and it's not up at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take some blocks, just go straight all the way to the portal, and we're just going to use a boat. Um, it's not going to be fun at all, and I'm going to have to do it with that one as well. Um, and it's going to be a lot of blocks. I'm going to probably have to go mine some more netherrack just for this project. Anyways, I think um, that's what we're going to end up doing, so... Sit back and relax while I put a lot of effort into this. As you can see, we got that villager into just where he's supposed to be, and I just don't think you guys probably don't want to, if it was me, I don't know if I'd want to watch a whole another session of moving villagers. They are the most frustrating mobs in this game to deal with. However, their use is just, it just cannot be overstated. It's, they're just so useful. Um, so, we're going to continue suffering to move this next guy. Hopefully, the last guy will be a little easier because he is right there, after all. Um, and the idea for this is we're going to just basically do the same thing. Um, we're only going to have to really change it up a bit when we move the zombie. And I'm still not really sure how I'm going to do that one. First off, we're just going to uh, just make this path over here. And so I think basically what I'm going to do, I'm just move villagers and I'll meet you guys once I've done that. Oh my god. After what seems like hours and hours of messing with these guys, finally, we have them. All three of them. Now, we've just got one more challenge, don't we? And this one's going to be pretty tough as well. We're going to also have to, actually we don't have to do it at night. Um, because he is a he does have a helmet on him, but we are gonna have to move the zombie. Um, I know I didn't show for that last villager, but it was actually really tricky to get him out because initially I was just gonna see if I could push him up the stairs. Then I was gonna use a boat with some water. Then I thought he might just float up with water. Man, villagers and me have a strained relationship. Let's just say. All right, guys. So as you 
can possibly or possibly not tell. And we've got a new iron golem. This is actually kind of a problem. Oh my god, I swear to god, bro, do not attack him. Oh my god, I join oh, I hit the zombie. My god, this is just exactly what I didn't want to happen. And if the, that guy hits me, that's a one-shot death. We really can't have him hitting us. This is like literally the worst thing that could have happened. Alright, we got him. He's not dead anymore. Come in here, boy. Alright, now is the actual challenge. Alright, come on, come on, boy. Come on. Come in here. Yep, alright, he's in, he's in, he's in. He's in now. We just gotta drag him and somehow get him into this hole. Whoops. In there. Alright, man. What? Alrighty. There we go. After a bit more troubles, trouble snagging another zombie. Look at it, guys. He is in there. And now we're gonna name tag him. There we are. Uh, should be f perfectly fine now. Uh, just got to replace one of these babies. Which, of course, I don't have the block with me. What the hell? Oh, my God. Already an iron... Alright, guys. After a lot, a lot of effort, we got him in there. I don't want to break the block to show you guys, because, yeah. Uh, I knew another iron golem would spawn. Whoops. Nope. 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 Oh my god. That could have been really bad. We almost died right there, guys. Wow. I did not mean to hit the stupid iron golem. But, well, it thought I did. So we're probably just going to have to take him out from over here before he can remove the blocks, add the water, etc., etc. Oh boy. That fun. Oh my god, bro. Can this stupid golem die already? Thank you. Alright, we just got to remove these blocks very quickly, as well as the nether portal, and then we're going to add the grass back, uh, the, sorry, the water, not the grass, I'm not sure where I got grass from. I got to remove you. Alright guys, so there's actually one thing I forgot to do, I really need to name tag the zombie, um, so we got to do that, and I got to actually activate the redstone clock down there, okay, that's annoying forgot to take that out all right and then we just got to add a tiny bit of water one there and one there and yep it seems to be working guys now we've just got a slightly tricky task uh, all right so we got to go up here no it's not even the redstone torch that we need to connect it's just one dust of redstone what oh my god that's one bit of redstone there and that should get the clock working i can't see exactly from this angle but i think the piston should be going up and down now no okay all right oh my god of course i have no blocks let's see if we can figure out what's wrong shall we all right guys so we got the chests hooked up. There's a little bit of iron from the iron that's already spawned. My only hope is that nothing will spawn here on this small platform we have. Uh, but this platform is, of course, kind of necessary. We really need a place where you can craft up blocks. As well as, you know, land with the elytra. Um, I'm just going to have to hope that this doesn't cause any issues. We put our crafting bench. Oh, looks like that's gone unless well we do have one in here so i believe the iron farm is fully functioning now this is of course not the most efficient design that is out there but it works which is basically all i need we don't need too much iron at the moment i would just like to get enough to be able to like build with it as well as possibly being able to make a beacon sometime in the near future as well as hoppers because one of the next projects is going to be conquering an ocean monument and the first thing we're going to be doing once we have our ocean monument base is building a storage system. Those those are going to require a lot of hoppers. We've got our three basic farms down, guys. we got our hostile mob farm, our iron farm, 
our Enderman XP farm as well as Ender Pearl farm. We've pretty much got the basic three farms down. So I think next episode, yes, we are finally going to be starting to build the base. So I'll see you guys there.